Hello everyone, today we're talking about five apps that change the way that I work every day. Uh, so these are five apps that I most strongly wish I would have found out about earlier. And yeah, like I said, they, they're apps that just change the way that I work completely. Uh, the first one is Notion. And if you talk to anyone who knows uh, about Notion or uses about uh, Notion, uh, they'll probably tell you the same. It's like a huge game changer. I always had a super hard time in school, uh, both studying and managing my projects as well as my uh, homework. And uh, if I would have found out about Notion earlier, uh, it definitely would have helped make my, uh, especially my high school, a lot smoother. I learned about it uh, and, like around the end of uh, my uh, business school. And yeah, it really, really helped a lot. The really cool thing about Notion is that you can really customize it the way that you want. Uh, so you can really uh, get it tailored to your needs. And I sadly only found out about this uh, around like the last, I would say six months of uh, business school. And I really wish I would have found out about it a lot earlier. And like I said, I've always had a bit of a hard time managing my projects. I just did a ton when I was uh, studying design as well. Uh, I didn't have a lot of study to do, but I had a lot of projects uh, to manage at the same time. A lot of uh, projects across different courses. Um, so it really helped me manage those projects. Um, I also used it uh, for my client work and I use it now day on a daily basis at my real job. Uh, so at work we receive like, um, well I work as a web designer first, and useful checklists in there. So like uh, when it comes to reviewing my, uh, the website that I designed, I've always found that super hard because like I did design so it's really hard to find um, issues once you've designed your own uh, thing. Uh, so I have a checklist of stuff that I have to go through that really helps. I also use it a ton for this YouTube channel, of course. Um, the whole pipeline is within Notion. Uh, every time I have ideas, they're, uh, I write them down in Notion. Uh, I write my scripts in Notion. I can track uh, where a video is at. So like uh, if I need to write the script, uh, film it, edit it, uh, stuff like that. Uh, so I basically use Notion as like a second brain and uh, it works really well with all of the other apps that I'll talk about. But the one area I found Notion to really be uh, not so great is that managing tasks. So it's really, really good if you're managing projects. But um, if you're like me, uh, when I get a project, I break it down into actionable items, so tasks. And managing those to-dos is not really uh, working well for me, at least in Notion. So that's why I use this second app, which is Todoist. There are tons and tons of apps out there to manage your to-dos. And like I said, Notion is, well, some people use it for that, but I found it personally just terrible. And I really, really liked uh, Todoist. Uh, it's the app that I like the most. I also used uh, Things 3 a lot, but Todoist, I, I just find myself uh, coming back to it all the time. Uh, Todoist has a lot of features that I really like. Um, like when you build a task, you can uh, add a priority to it. So I like to have uh, highlights uh, every single day. So there's our, uh, like up to three tasks that I absolutely have to get done. So of course these get a priority of uh, three out of three. They're the most important thing in my day. You can also break uh, tasks down according to different projects. Uh, the way I have it set up is that instead of having projects, they're like areas. And then the tasks are the kind of general project and then subtasks become like the tasks. You can of course have a recurring task. So for things like my weekly review that I do every week, I have a recurring task for that. Um, or if you have any routines that you do like every day or whatever, you could have a recurring task. And the other thing that's really, really cool about Todoist is how it integrates with a bunch of stuff. Uh, I use a, a calendar app called Fantastical and you can uh, sync Todoist with that calendar to make them work both uh, together. Uh, you could have it set up with your, uh, so if you receive uh, an email with uh, some actionable items in there, you can just click the Todoist icon. It will add it directly to your Todoist inbox so you can sort it out later or get it done uh, whenever it needs to get done. Like I said, I use Notion sort of like a second brain. So I've talked about how I use it to manage projects, but I also store a ton of information in there that, uh, so that way I don't have to like always keep it in my head. If I ever need it, I can search for it and I'll have it. And the next app comes in really, really handy for that. It's called Readwise. So throughout the day, I gather a ton of information through reading either books, articles, uh, listening to podcasts. And uh, Readwise is an app that basically syncs in through all of the apps that I use. And it gathers all of this information together and then it sends it to different apps that I use. Uh, the main one being Notion. You can also export your stuff to Evernote. 
Um, so basically whenever I'm reading something like an article or doing research on uh, whatever, I highlight the stuff that I feel like is important or that I want to remember. It all gets uh, synced into Readwise and then gets distributed across the apps, that, uh, whatever apps you want uh, to use Readwise with. And Readwise will uh, gather all of those highlights and they'll send you an email every day with a few of them. Um, if you have the app downloaded, you can also uh, review your highlights. So there's also an element of space repetition. So now you not only have all this information stored somewhere where you can access it by just like typing up, uh, I know, like business or whatever, and you'll find your notes about business. Um, you actually do space repetition now. So you, you'll actually remember the things that you've read a lot easier. And you'll remember the most important parts, the parts that you've highlighted. The next two apps are apps that I use constantly with uh, Readwise. The first one is Pocket. So I do a ton of research every single day. Uh, I love learning. It's partly why I decided to start this uh, YouTube channel. And I had a few problems when I was reading, especially articles. Uh, the first one is that sometimes I come across a super interesting article, but I might not have the time to read it. Or if someone sends me uh, like a cool article uh, by email or uh, on text messages or whatever. And I just don't have the time to read it right now, so I want to read it later, but I keep forgetting about it. Uh, I absolutely hate uh, reading with tons of ads everywhere, banners and pop-ups and stuff. And uh, of course, I want to highlight stuff to send them to Readwise so that I can reuse it later on. That's exactly what Pocket does, and it does a bit more, of course. Um, but uh, it's one of my favorite apps for uh, this kind of purposes. There are other ones out there that I've tried and I liked, but Pocket does a bit more. It is a bit more expensive as well, but I find it to be worth it. Uh, so anytime I'm reading something on the internet, instead of reading it on the like uh, blog page or whatever, where there are tons of ads and stuff like that, I'll add it to uh, Pocket by just clicking the little uh, icon you can get on like Chrome or whatever. And then I'll go into uh, their app and read it through there. There's absolutely no ads anywhere. I can highlight everything. I'll get synced uh, with Readwise so I can reuse that information later on. And uh, Anytime that someone sends me an article or something like that, I send it straight to uh, Pocket so I know I'll get to it later and I won't forget about it. It's super helpful whenever I'm planning a new video because um, I'm doing a, like, a ton of research and so having all this information accessible is really nice. That way I can uh, well look through it, make my own opinion, uh, I can verify the things I'm going to say, stuff like that. Uh, so I really use that every single day. Uh, they also have a browse feature. I think it's in beta, but it, it kind of works. So I'll understand, uh, well, it's pretty basic. Like it just understands kind of what you're into and try to show you more stuff like that. So, but like I said, it's in beta, so it's it's not perfect, but it still works uh, fine for me right now. Next app is Air and Air is really, really amazing. Um, I listen to a ton of podcasts and uh, you can't like, uh, there was no way for me to make like useful notes. Uh, out of podcasts, I would write them down in a book that I would keep open on my desk. Um, but then I found out about Air, so it's basically a podcast app. Air introduced a feature that they cleverly called the Air Quotes. And uh, what these are is that when you're listening to a podcast, you can just click the Air Quote button on your phone and it'll save the last 45 seconds, then kind of like in a highlight. And of course, as you might have guessed, it gets sent to Readwise for me. And uh, the cool thing is you can use that with anything. Like um, if you have uh, like headphones that have a feature to go back like 15 seconds or whatever, you click that button and it'll save it. Um, it'll save the last 45 seconds. It's a feature that I really find amazing. I really wish other apps would have that, especially like uh, audiobook apps, like uh, like Audible, for example. It's, it's just so, so annoying to like have to take the notes manually and stuff when it's already there. And so yeah, uh, Air is really, really a useful app. I strongly recommend it. And uh, it's actually free, so go check it out for sure. Uh, hopefully you find this video uh, interesting and helpful. Uh, you might want to download these apps. Uh, they're not sponsored, any of them, uh, but they're just apps that I genuinely enjoy and I hope you'll enjoy them too. Uh, if you want to learn more about how to build habits, you can check out this video that I made on hacking the habit loop. And that's it for today. I hope you, had a, you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.